good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you for coming and uh, I am at a loss for uh, if I look at the faces I'm one of the metal sellers at the export promotion and so I know virtually all the exporters here and when we were asked to come and talk about packaging I said what this is not the forum for packaging because I think they are all experienced exporters and we are going to talk about packaging today it's something which uh, and we cannot take a short time to look at the packaging but we'll try and our best and do something because really uh, the general issues will be talked about but for each packaging material some are for storage some are for whatever but my the first speaker's uh, presentation and what they are found in the cargo which without labels then it means that we are not doing the right thing and uh, because they knew those who did that knew that the destination requires some uh, technical requirements. Uh, people were dodging it. Some were dodging these issues because of custom duties. Some of the products have been banned, but you need some certification before it goes. So they try to mix it with other products. And it's a shame to all of us who are doing that. Uh, I don't know whether it is uh, the exporters who are doing it and or there are new exporters who have come in and then they have had their way and doing all these things. Who can export alcoholic beverage at this time and there's no label on the packaging. So they just only open their box and find these things there you will be jailed. We are lucky that it's the shippers who are paying. If we need to track back, you will be jailed. And, and because you are here, you are finding it easy to. So if we track and we find out you are the one who is wanted the country to be blacklisted, I think the right thing must be done. For the pig feet and the rest, you must have abattoir or where the abattoir is situated and the kind of certification that you need the way the pigs are slaughtered and all those things these things they have a, a veterinary have what we call the trace software for them to know i am shocked at this time that we will send these things and pig feet are inside if this is going on, I think uh, we need to, the regulators need to, because we are all of us at, at the blame, NACOP, PPRSD, customs, uh, the exporters themselves, and those who are issuing certificates of origin and those things, because they must know before they go into it. So, if we are doing now, all of us will be blacklisted. The nation will be blacklisted, and shippers are the ones who are suffering. I don't think it, this thing could. Let me start my small packaging, and then uh, during the Q&A, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it. Next. Is it right? We'll look at GPS present. This one is not necessarily the time is we'll look at packaging and labeling and I propose joint inspection. We have about eight offices which uh when those who are especially in the overland you report issues like that. Uh I am also to be blamed. GEP is also to be blamed because uh, we think that we have trained 
But today, I think our follow-up work should be enhanced. Um, it is our responsibility to build your capacities, exporters, through our export school. Uh, if there's any other thing, I think the uh, freight forwarders, they have their masters as a, a customer so that they will be com compliant. And if there's a problem there, uh, we we'll have to also liaise with customers to let them know what is involved, even if their exporters are not doing the right thing. Uh, there are technical requirements that we have to, as a country or as an exporter, you have to abide by it in terms of packaging. Right packaging and labeling are key requirements. Uh, you, I will show you a box without a label. And well, the moment it gets there, it means you don't know your job. You are not a businessman. You are not an exporter. And all exporters are businessmen. So if you don't know your job and you it, it finds itself there, then regulators at the port must also be blamed. How did it leave the place and it went there? I've got my share. Since I came, a lot of the exporters are blaming export promotion that we train them, but we don't follow up. And what is happening at the port today is, is, a, is a new revelation. Uh, somebody told me because of what is going on at the port, uh, he has stopped exporting. I said, that, don't you know that we'll be blacklisted? I said, I don't think so. What is actually happening there? He said, go there and see things for yourself. I haven't been there, but I've seen it today. An inability to meet the requirement could cause danger to consumers. And that is why they, they, they ensure that your packaging material is sound. And uh, GEPA must work with stakeholders so that we, the right thing is done. So uh, my chief executive has been called at the office of the president. Otherwise, she should have been here. But uh, whatever happens here will be discussed. To, will be, you'll be informed. What is packaging? Most of the things are for protective. The reason why we are not going into detail is that in packaging, we have stacking and all those things. That one we will measure. Uh, if if in, in our export school, we will we'll tell you these boxes, how it will be measured. So that when you go and buy something which is cannot hold your things, you don't go into it. I remember some exporters were importing uh, card box from uh, what's the name Schumacher in Germany and they brought it and I was wondering ah we have this Maxwell come and see and I saw pictures the ones that we will send them we get them from here and it goes to Germany by the time it reaches here you will see it's, uh, some stunted growth But the one that we imported from there, and Schumacher gave it to them. Because I got to know, because he was also asking for VAT uh, refund. And so I said, ah, but what all these industries are? It says people go there for the cheap ones because that one was expensive. We need to really look at that. And it gives protective covering for. The transportation as the second uh, uh, speaker said the packaging is concerned with the containers in which the products reach the ultimate consumer it means that now these our products don't reach the consumers uh, I had a video of one of our yam exporters it says before the product and 
to his uh, uh, warehouse, he has to repackage the thing before it gets to the consumer. Whereas most of the packaging material that we receive outside, we can use the same thing to send it to our consumers. So there's something wrong with our packaging industry. Or is it that we go for the cheap one? And that is what Chinese, a Chinese told me. Uh, Ghana people, when they come, they want cheap, so we'll give them cheap. Because we were, we we're complaining about electric cables which were burning our houses. This is, oh, if you want quality, we can give you quality, but it is high price. I said, no. Then you, if you use your brain that we don't want to burn our houses, so give them the right one. And it was a challenge that the two of us were discussing. But it looks as if this is what happened. Types of packaging. Polythene box, box made of hard paper cardboard. This is something that you knew already. We shouldn't go back. And so uh, when the topic was given to me, it was I said, not at this time that uh, people are serious. Exporters are getting uh, new freight services to do business, cargo services. But uh, let me let me present them. But we cannot go into details because the time is too short. Because even if tin box, if we want to measure so that the number of boxes that it must be in 20 footer or 40 footer container, you need to know. You ask exporter who, who is a new guy, how many boxes can it go to 20 footer container? And he's scratching his head. It means that he's, he doesn't know the business. Wooden box and all this. I think the, the, the presentation will be sent to you. Um, the benefit of packaging. We, we think that the packaging is a silent statesman. A lot of people buy these uh, items because of packaging. And I think our Ghanaian exporters must also do that. Packaging involves presentation of the products. A whole lot. Uh, this thing is a, a box that was sent to us. A picture was sent to us from London. And do you know what is inside? Like what I said, it's supposed to contain, protect preserve the product, inform the consumer, facilitate handling and transportation and distribution. But we have this box here, and you have seen this vehicle, and the box were also enjoying the streets because uh, the, 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 the airline is about to move. And so the guy just pack whatever is in, into this box. If it's raining, what will, ha what will happen? So maybe he was even dodging the rainfall, and in the process, he loses one of the... And it happened. And somebody took the picture and sent to us. Yes, this is the most important. Do you know what is, is in the box? That box has no label. And they rejected all the consignment. We have yam in the box. We have Cerelac in the box. We have Milo in the box. And the yam was full of, it's covered with a lot of sand. The soil that they didn't wash it. And so uh, they invited my bosses and then they bowed down their heads in shame. 
that this is what is coming from Ghana. And there is no label. And the, 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 the most important thing was that he just took some barcode thing and put it there. Boom. They checked, they scanned and found out that it is something that they brought from France to Ghana. It's not, it's not, you are not supposed to do that. And so it means the guy is not a business. But we have got the name. We have, there is a committee looking at and issues that has come up from uh, our end, because virtually everything is what we're supposed to know about. Uh, the labeling issues are also something that you must label it well. Some of the countries, you must put uh, the language, which is the color of the label, the price tag. I don't think as an exporter, unless you come and start with export school, the fundamentals. I think that is what I will entreat you, those who are new, but not the old ones. And the ones that send those things are experienced exporters. One, they were dodging, they were dodging customs duty. Because it's a processed product, and it is a product from Nestle, Nestle has decided not to export to London because they are asking for the source of the milk. Hmm? They are asking for the source of the milk. And the milk that they, they, they get is from New Zealand. You know, there's a fight. The British also want to sell their milk. And so, because they were giving problems to Nestle, Nestle decided not to export anymore. They sell them domestically. Then our people also decided, that, ah, our people want it. So, ah, I said, I'm just from Nestle. Nestle is not exporting. They say, no, it's, it's Nestle. I said, no, Nestle says they are not. So you, if you go and buy from Nestle, and you export, and you face problems. Is it necessary? It's you. Because I can be an, a producer, a manufacturer. You can buy from me, and think uh, our end here. A whole lot of things that uh, the High Commission in our, our Ghana High Commission in the UK send a report. A committee have done some findings. And uh, we'll send it back. We are at the brink of being blacklisted, and that we will not be in export business. Then I will be sacked from my job. And you, your monies will not come. And then shippers will not be paying penalties like that. The blame, we are not going to shift blame here. I think we are going to find a solution to it. PPRSD, FD, GSA, Customs, and NACOP, we need to find a, a flow chart, a proper flow chart, or a joint inspection. If it has been able, they've been able to do it at the import side, why can't we do it at the export side? If something, if a let comes and we say, no, let us, who was the last people? No. This problem, people as you are the one who is responsible. They will say, oh, we will finish our work. And NACOP people came to look at. They are supposed to be the last. Under WTO, customs are supposed to be the last. But in some process, they can give you reasons why they don't want customs should be the last. So where are we heading to us? So of all the complaints that we have received, we are sending it to the Minister of Trade to take action. Thank you very much.